I wonder what it is. Hey guys, I'm Tom the Tech Chap, and this is the new NVIDIA RTX 2060 graphics card. It is of course the successor to the 1060, and right now this is the cheapest of the 20 series family, the RTX family. And here it is. Now this video isn't gonna be a full review because I'm actually lucky enough to get this a few days ahead of its official announcement at CES. And so I'm actually gonna be using this with pre-release drivers and I just don't think that's right to give it a full review, especially as we've seen how much of a difference driver and software updates can make to performance, especially ray tracing performance in games like Battlefield 5. So I'll be doing a full review and comparisons with all the other graphics cards a bit later on. But before we get to benchmarks and frame rates, let me run you through the actual card. And the first thing you'll notice is it's a fair bit smaller than all the other 20 series cards. So if you're thinking about building a new PC, perhaps a mini ITX build or a compact build, this could be a good option given its lower power draw and smaller size. So as you can see, this is a Founders Edition version of the card, straight from NVIDIA. We'll be seeing third-party versions soon. And with that, we get this beautiful design, the twin fans, and the vapor chambers. So these are a lot cooler and quieter than the previous 10 series cards. Let me show you how it compares to the 2080, which I've actually got running in here. So if I uh, actually turn this off, grab my screwdriver, and take it out, I can show you the difference. Alrighty, so this is the RTX 2080. Now, the most realistic comparison of the 2060 will be with the 2070, but just for this video and for a bit of a size comparison, you can see how the 2080 and the 2060 are in terms of size. It is a fair bit smaller. So as I say, if you're building a compact PC, this could come in handy. The 2060 draws power from a single eight pin PCIe power connector. And in terms of connectivity, we get two DisplayPort 1.4s, one HDMI 2.0B, a USB-C port, and a slightly old-fashioned DVI connector. So for backwards compatibility, that could be quite useful. TI. You can see across the board, the 2060 is a fair bit less powerful than the 2070, as you'd expect. But you can also see the price difference is fairly significant. We're looking at about $350 for the 2060 versus $500 for the 2070. Now, I've tested the 2060 in six games, but as I say, this is running pre-release drivers. But it should still give us a good indicator of real-world performance. Starting at 1080p with ultra settings, and we're looking at average frame rates in the triple digits in the majority of games. Shadow of the Tomb Raider is the only one falling behind a bit, but it's still well over 60 FPS. It seems then the RTX 2060 is best suited for 1080p gamers with high refresh rate monitors. Tweak a setting or two in most games and you'll easily hit 120 FPS. Moving up to 1440p, and every game except Tomb Raider is still comfortably above that 60 FPS mark. Although nothing is breaking 100 FPS, again with all these games set at their highest graphic settings. But then again, if you drop a setting or two, you'll easily get high 90s in most games. Moving on to ray tracing in Battlefield 5, well, it's not looking great. Only when you set it to low while running at 1080p do you get a playable 60 FPS. And even that was a bit choppy. And don't even bother at 1440p. So right now, I'd keep all that turned off. But once the DLSS update comes for BF5, which should be pretty soon, they say the beginning of 2019, that will make a big difference to your frame rate. But if we put ray tracing to one side for the moment, I have to say I am quite impressed. And for the vast majority of gamers out there, I think the 2060 will be the ideal card for 1440p gaming, and of course 1080p gamers that have a high refresh rate monitor. So with that said, with a price tag of $350, and also offers very similar performance, but no doubt the 2060 is a more future-proof card. It's also smaller, more efficient, easier to overclock, plus you get all the RTX benefits. And once we see DLSS updates come out for games, I think it'll be even more tempting. So that's just a quick look at the new RTX 2060. Let me know what you think of it in the comments and whether you'd be tempted to buy one. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you found this video useful. Hit that like and subscribe button if you did. And I'll see you next time right here on The Tech Chat.